So in computer graphics, let us uh, learn about 3D geometric transformation today. In this we will see the translation, scaling, rotation, rotations with the uh, cotonians, other transformations and coordinate transformations. So we have already talked about these uh, aspects like uh, translation, scaling and rotation along with their matrix and matrix conversion. So this is the transformation in 3D, okay? transformation matrix. So this is 3 by 3, what is this? This is for uh, scaling, reflection, sharing, rotation, if these values, these A, B, C, A, B, um, C, D, F, G, H, I, they vary. So depending upon the values which you put in here, scaling, reflection, sharing and rotation will take place. In this one, it, it, this is for translation, uh, values for translation or uh, parameters for translation are being placed here. And uh, this one, this is for your uniform global scaling. And this is your homogeneous representation, mm -hmm. right? So these are all transformation in 3D in a, uh, in a nutshell for transformation matrix, which you will employ. Okay, then 3D translation. We have already talked about the translation aspect of 3D. And in this particular case, this, this is the, these are the values. Tx means translation. Uh, for x, translation for y, translation for z, that means x, y, z, tx added to x, that is x dash uh, is formed or x dash is new coordinate when some translation tx parameter is added to x, likewise for ty and tz also. And what exactly it looks like is, is presented here. Now, when you add this tx, ty and tz to the or each coordinate, then the new translated position looks looks like this and as i said in the previous uh, slide that these are the you know values which you place tx ty tz and if you multiply it with x y z one where these are homogeneous uh, coordinates you multiply them and you will get the translated version or translated matrix this is uh, about uniform scaling means scaling that means if this is a figure or this is a 3D primitive, then you scale it. But there is a uniform scaling in X, Y, and Z direction. So if you uh, closely see this matrix, this is SX, this is SY, this is SZ. So equal uh, sharing, uniform sharing is performed by X dot SX, S, Y dot SY, and Z dot uh, SZ. Previous case, this scaling, this uh, translation was addition. Here the scaling concept is there, so it, x is multiplied by sx, we get a new coordinate x dash for each coordinate of x, likewise for y dash and z dash. This is relative scaling, this is not uniform scaling, but relative scaling, what does it mean? This is scaling with a selected fixed position, scaling with a selected fixed position, this is your original position, now we are talking about scaling with a selected fixed position, so uh, first we translate it to, to this position. Then, or say you are, you are translated to origin, for example, then you scale it. You know how scaling is done. So once you translate, translate, you know what you are going to do. These are the, the, the this is the matrix you are going to use. For scaling, what you are going to do, for scaling SX, SY, SZ, you are going to use. And then inverse translation, the translation, because you have bought these, these points or this primitive to the origin. Now you want to, after doing some certain scaling or, or the options which you have in your hand, you have to retranslate it, it means you have to inverse translate it. For that you are using minus x, minus y, minus z. So what we are doing here is, we are translating it first, okay, to the origin. Then what we are doing is, we are scaling it and then we are again re-translating uh, or inverse translating it. So this is the matrix you multiply it by x, y, z and you will get the final version. Now we come to 3D rotation. This is the coordinate axis rotation. It can be along x axis, it can be along y axis or it can be along z axis. So there are general 3D rotations that is rotation about an axis that is parallel to one of the coordinate axis. Okay, like this, this or this and rotation about any arbitrary axis, any arbitrary axis. So these are general 3D rotations. So coordinate axis rotation which is around z axis is given by this uh, matrix, x axis by this matrix, y axis by this matrix. So this is z rotation, this is x rotation, this is along y direction. So you have to really uh, 
understand and learn by heart these values if you are really going to be uh, working a lot in this subject. Then the order of rotations means order of rotations this affect the final position how it is going to affect the final position because this is x axis you want to convert it or go along the z axis or z axis to x axis so what you do you uh, this is uh, your original version now you rotate it along x axis so once you rotate it along x axis you will get it like this now you you will rotate it around z axis so what you will get this way so you will get you will get this so this is how you um, the order basically the order was order is like this now see this, this is the curved surface and once you uh, achieve the final position when you rotate it around x and then you rotate it around z the final position this curve is here so the final position is changed in the same way if this is z you uh, rotate around z and then you rotate around x this this is the final position and the uh, position is changed in general 3d rotations rotation about an axis axis or any axis any axis that is parallel to one of the coordinate axis this is called the general uh, 3d rotation so we translate the object so that the rotation axis coincides with the parallel coordinate axis we translate first of all the object so that the rotation axis it coincides with the parallel coordinate axis and we perform the specified rotation here about the x axis or any axis x axis y axis that is parallel we translate the object so that the rotation axis is now moved back to its original position i'll show you how this is the original position of the object this is the rotational axis which is parallel to the or you know along with the x axis now you translate rotation axis axis onto the x axis you have translated this axis onto the x axis here translation and then you uh, rotate object through theta that is the rotation you want and once you have rotated you translate it again back to the position from where it, you bought it that is the axis you again transfer it back this is the general 3d rotation rotation about any arbitrary axis now any it can be any arbitrary axis which may or may not be parallel to your axis uh, x or y or z axis this is the basic idea what we do here is we translate this x1 y1 z1 to the origin first okay this position we rotate x2 that is x2 y2 z2 on the z uh, on the z axis on the z axis say we are we want to trans, um, rotate it along the z axis then we rotate the object around the z, z axis is first we rotate the uh, this value on the z axis when we rotate the uh, object around the z axis and then we rotate the axis to the original orientation then we translate the uh, rotation axis to the original position same here okay so this is first is your translation then uh, again rotation 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 and uh, uh, rotation this is uh, along z y these are different angles okay and finally the translation so this is how the rotation about an arbitrary axis is done we are just translating it to the original then we rotate on the z axis then rotate around the z axis then we rotate the axis to the original orientation and we translate it so this is the general 3d rotation first what we are doing is we are doing translation so what we have done this is the axis now we have we, we translate this axis to the x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 to the origin okay so this is the translation uh, matrix then what we do we uh, perform we establish some translation tr with respect to alpha in the x axis so this is the uh, rotation with what we are doing here these are the rotation uh, matrix so these these are the points a b c this if you make a figure this is the this is the point and you have now rotated it some alpha angle this is the line you have rotated it with the some alpha angle so this this is now the rotated point so what will be our rotated point with respect to this abc with alpha the, the relationship is given by here and now with this point this is the projected point 0 bc these are the projected point and this this point are the rotated point so you can get the rotated version multiplying by this angle alpha and you will get the values with respect to c and b only c and b because a is not involved here we are talking about the project, projected point so this is the translation point then we rotate about y axis by uh, this phi angle this is the projected point this is the rotated point now you have more rotated point this is actually phi you can call it as beta so let it take let us take it beta 
So it is uh, rotation about along rotated uh, rotating about the the y axis y axis by say v diagonal. Okay. So this is these are the projected points. These are the rotated points. And uh, with respect to the beta angle that we are talking about, we have a sine beta, cos beta, L is also there. Okay, this is the L, and uh, D is also there. This is the D. Now, uh, what uh, this rotation matrix will look like will be like this, and this cos beta in terms of A and D and L will be like this. So this is rotation about y axis by some angle. And now, rotation about z axis, z -axis by say desired theta. This is the desired angle, so you can easily apply this straightforward matrix. And then arbitrary axis rotation is involved. Arbitrary axis rotation. So we apply the reverse transformation to place the axis back to its initial position. That is T inverse, R inverse, R y inverse. But what are all we have done? We have to apply the inverse. So just take those matrix we have just defined and take the inverse. So finally, uh, rotation about any any arbitrary axis will be given. So if you even if you don't understand, you just have to understand this line. That will be enough. Let us take an example. Find the new coordinate of a unit cube. Unit, this is a unit cube, 90 degree rotated about an about an axis, which is defined by the endpoints 2, 1, 0, and 3, 3, 1. So uh, we translate point A to the origin. We are going to translate this point to the origin. What points you have? You have these points 2, 1, 0, and 3, 3, 1. So you are trying to transform this 2, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0. So that will be minus 2, minus 1, 0. And we will. This is the translation matrix for transferring this. A point to the origin. So now we rotate this a dash b dash which we just got about the x-axis by a certain angle alpha until it lies on xz plane, right? So we have this two and one. These are the projected points zero to one. With this we know this angle would be sin alpha is two by under root two square plus one square. And cos alpha would be one by under root five. So we apply on l l is also under root uh, one square plus two square plus one square. L is there and alpha cos alpha is there. So we we have this rotation matrix as we just discussed in the previous slide. Then we rotate x uh, axis a dash b double dash a dash b double dash. Okay, and this is a this is this is our b double dash. So a b double dash about the y axis and an alpha angle phi until we con it coincide with the z axis. So now this these are the values under root six one zero root five. So we this is the alpha beta angle. We can get the sine beta cos beta. And these are the one by under root six. This is root five by root six. That will be this uh, matrix. So we rotate the cube ninety degree about the z-axis. For that, you this is the simple rotation uh, matrix for ninety degree. And then we apply this. Okay. So all this multiplication is done, and finally this is the rotation values for some theta. Uh, we can multiply r theta by the point matrix of the original cube like this. That is this one. And we can get the values of p dash. Now rotations with the quaternions, quaternions that is a scalar part s plus vector part v a b c. So the real part plus complex part that is the imaginary values of i j k is given by q is given by the scalar part and vector part. This is given by scalar plus a i plus b j plus c k. So real part will be s s and the arbitrary part or say say the imaginary part will be given by a i plus b j plus c k. So rotation about any axis, we set up a unit uh, quaternion that is u, which is uh, given by s will be given by cos theta by two and v will be given by uh, u sine theta by two. So we can represent any point p in quaternion notation like this p is equal to x y z, which is the capital p is equal to uh, zero comma p small p. We can easily represent any any point position with the quaternion notation. This is the quaternion notation. So the rotation with the quaternion we carry out uh, with the quaternion rotation that is q inverse will be s minus v. So p dash will be q p q inverse. We produce a new quaternion that is p dash that is p dash. So p dash is equal to s square p plus v p v to s v p v into p uh, v p. So we obtain the rotation matrix by quaternion multiplication as we done in the previous case. So this is given by this matrix. So r theta will be nothing but t inverse m r theta t with the quaternions. So this is an example. We want to rotate about z-axis. We set the quaternions how s is equal to cos theta by two, v is equal to zero 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 one sine theta by two. We substitute a and b equal to zero and uh, c equal to sine theta by two in this matrix, which is given by this matrix. We apply these two relationship to find this relationship or this matrix values. 
The other transformations also uh, reflective related to the XY plane, Z shear, Z axis shear is also there. So reflection related to some say XY plane is given by X dash Y dash Z dash. You use minus one here, and for Z axis shear you use AB here. Only. Then we come to the coordinate transformation. What about multiple coordinate system? You have local coordinate system that is modeling coordinate system. You also have world world coordinate system. So this is the local coordinate system. This is the um, uh, world coordinate system. So coordinate transformation means, uh, for example, you want to simulate a tractor movement. So a tractor moves. That is the tractor coordinate system will be there. Okay. Then this is the tractor coordinate system. Now you have this front wheel. Front wheel also have its coordinate system, which move in the world coordinate system. This is the world coordinate system. So front wheel rotate in the wheel coordinate system. The transformation of an object description from one coordinate system to another is coordinate transformation. The transformation matrix will be given by we bring bring the two coordinate systems into alignment first of all. That is we do the translation. The translation translate translation is done by minus x zero minus y zero minus x zero. Then rotation and scaling is scaling is performed. Okay, like this you have u y u z uh, means u y dash u z dash and u u u x dash u y u z u x with dashes. So first uh, we rotate them, we scale them, we align them. So we apply this relationship R. Okay. So this is about uh, the 3D transformations, and uh, we'll be seeing. Uh, the outputs of the related topics in the later session. Thank you so much.